Assalamu alaikum. This is teacher Fatima. Today is our second online class. We will talk about order of operations. By that, I mean when we have more than one math operation in the same question. For example, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. What can I do? to know which operation must be done first. The correct order of operations is very important and we need to follow it by the same order everybody does. So this is our objective for today, to decide which math operation to do first. We will check this example out as a beginning. 7 plus 6 times 5 minus 8 divided by 2. What should I do to make sure that I pick the right one? I should remember what we all know, that multiplication and division must be done before addition and subtraction. In the same question, I have multiplication and division, ضرب وقسمة. To decide which is first, I look at the math sentence from left to right. And we begin with the one on the left because it comes first. So in this question, I must multiply then divide. So step one will be to multiply 6 by 5 and that would be 30. Now since we did multiply, now here comes division. Step two is to divide 8 by 2 which is 4. Now, after we multiply and divide, I should add and subtract. But again, I check what comes first. I add because addition comes before subtraction in this question. We add 7 plus 30, and that is 37. Then 37 minus 4 is 33, which is the correct way to do this question. The next exercise is 9 minus 5 times 2 plus 12 divided by 4 plus times 2. Now I have subtraction, multiplication, addition, division, then multiplication again. To decide what should be done first, I should remember multiplication and division. On the left, we have multiplication before division, so multiply first. That would be step 1, to multiply 5 by 2, and that's 10. Now next, I should divide 12 by 4, which is 3. Now we multiplied, we divided, then we have one more multiplication to do, which is this 3 that we got from dividing 12 by 4. This 3 must be multiplied by 2. So, 9 minus 10 plus 3 multiplied by 2. So, I should multiply 3 by 2 and that is 6. Now, 9 minus 10 plus 6. I have subtraction, then addition. We do what comes on the left, what comes first. So, 9 minus 10, that is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 6, that is 5. I hope everything is clear now. In the next objective, we're going to remember what brackets mean. When we see brackets in the question, what should we do first? Should I multiply? Should I do the brackets first? What should I do? Excellent. If your answer was to do the brackets first, then you are correct. So we must do the brackets before anything else in the question. I have two brackets here, so which one should I do first? Do them both in the same time, no problem. We do the brackets first, so 4 minus 6 and 3 plus 2 are done simultaneously. Now, 4 minus 6 is minus 2, as you can see. 3 plus 2 inside brackets mean 5. Now, I have 3 multiplied by minus 2 plus 15 divided by 5. Now, what should I do next? We did the brackets. Now comes the, the part of multiplication. So I should multiply and divide. 
We multiply 3 by minus 2 and that would be minus 6. We divide 15 by 5 and that would be 3. So the final thing to do, minus 6 plus 3, we should simply add. And the answer is, great job, it is minus 3. You're doing good, I'm sure you are. Now, here comes the questions in the textbook. Exercise 3.6 has three main questions. I will give you a couple of minutes to do each one of them, and then you can pause the video until you're done, then you may continue. In this question, 8 times 3 must be done first, and that is 24. Then we should add it to 2. Your answer is 26. Great job! Now, part D. Pay attention, this is D, not B. You have one minute, you can pause the video. There you go. You must multiply before you add. So, 4 plus 12, that would be 16. Good job. Now, exercise 3, 6, same exercise. Question 2, part A says 7 times 2 plus 3 times 2. Pause the video and make, try. We should multiply 7 by 2, that's 14. 3 by 2, that's 6. Now, all you have to do is 14 plus 6, and that's 20. Part B of the same question. 12 divided by 3 plus 6 times 5. Pause the video and give it a try. Yes, you did good. You divided 12 by 3 and that is 4. Then you multiply 6 by 5 and that is 30. Your answer must be 4 plus 30, 34. Good job. Part D. Try this. You have a moment. 36 minus 9 divided by 3 minus 2, you should divide first. So, it becomes 36 minus 3 minus 2, since we divided 9 minus 3. Now, we have subtraction, so please go from left to right. 36 minus 3 is 33, minus 2, that's 31. Great job, everyone! In the same exercise, question 3, part A. 4 plus 5 inside brackets is to be multiplied by 3. To do this successfully, do the brackets first. 4 plus 5, that's 9. And 9 by 3 is 27. Good job! Part B of the same question. Pause the video. 8 multiplied by 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 are inside the brackets, so we subtract first. That's 8 times 8, which is 64. Part D, the last one. We have 4 plus 11 inside brackets divided by 7 minus 2. I'm sure you remembered to do the brackets first. 4 plus 11, that's 15. 7 minus 2, that's 5. And dividing 15 by 5 gives us a 3. Excellent. Now your homework is to do these exercises from exercise 3, 6, 2, C, F, 3, C, and F. Please send us your solution on WhatsApp or an edu link. Thank you, and if you have any questions, you can always get back to us. Thank you.